now students uh, in the previous modules what we were doing uh, we were passing single values to the server and we also worked with passing multiple values to the server and in this module what we will do is we will pass multiple values in multiple steps to the server multiple values in multiple steps so this is the outline of the module that how do you create that multi step form and how it works so i will show you what is appearing on the screen and we will look at the code also so let's start so what you see on the screen is some of the steps which are involved in that multi step form okay so what we have over here is that we are going to use the hidden fields to create a series of forms that guide the users through the data entry process step by step so what we have over here is that we have the first name the last name the gender and and so on and this is going to be saved in a script which is the registration underscore multi step dot php script over here you can see over here and you can also try filling in some of the field values and using the back and next buttons over here the back and next buttons over here and notice how the field values are preserved when you return to a previously completed step all right so uh, the code is given in the text to keep things simple this script doesn't validate any form fields in the way that the registration.php does however you could easily use the same techniques used in the registration dot php to validate each step of the form as it was submitted okay now let's see how it works so the script displays form with hidden field which you have seen if the hidden field present and within range appropriate action is taken what was the range it was 1 2 and 3 the options were there and if the hidden field is not found it is not found okay then we assume that the sign up process has started this is the sign up process is started so when it's neither 1 nor 2 nor 3 it is means that the sign up process is starting and this code is going to be executed so what are the three functions which we will be looking at we should be looking at process step number 1 process what it does simply displays step number 2 process step 2 what it does check if the user clicked the back button which i showed you in the previous screen and then display step 2 display step 2 if the back button was clicked okay and process step 2 what is process step 2 over here this is the code over here okay and you can see what is happening over here this is about the back all right and then if it's not the case then it goes to the display step 3 so how is it is working we have these hidden fields over here a whole set of hidden fields are over here okay and the remaining four function display step 1 display step 2 display step 3 and display thanks display from for each of these three steps in the sign up process as well as the final thank you page includes all of the form fields for the entire sign up process by including and populating all the fields whether visible or hidden hidden in this case over here in each of the three steps the script ensures that the entire sign up data is sent back to the server each time a form is submitted thereby allowing the data to be carried across three steps 1 2 and then the 3 steps 2 and 3 also include back and next buttons okay back and next buttons are there back and next buttons are there whereas step 1 just includes the next button over here only the next button finally display thanks simply displays the thank your message to the user and that's about it in this form and in this module thank you very much